Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Connor Hewlett of Howell Hockey. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing good. Um, so, you know, just talk about this, how the season's kind of going. You've had a, you've had some time off. First time you've gotten on the ice since, uh, I believe, Wednesday? Um, Wednesday or Thursday? I think it was Thursday, yeah. Yeah. What, what, what's it been like to just uh, get on the ice after, after a after a few days off? Um, you know, shaky start, obviously. Um, everybody's still trying to get loosened up and, uh, and kind of get back on the motion of skating every day. But um, the intensity was there um, towards that end of the practice. And, you know, through the entire practice, it was, it was a high pace practice, obviously. Um, but uh, I think we have some stuff to work on. Um, obviously going up north this weekend, uh, just a few practices before. So a um, couple things to focus on that we're going to we're gonna try and drive in and then hopefully come out strong uh, going up north. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, starting off the season like you did, I don't know if I told, I don't know if I, uh, I mentioned this before, but you guys are off to the best start that you've had in five years. You know, what, what's it like to, you know, to start off the season the way that you guys did, getting some big wins, um, to heading into heading into uh, this, uh, these, uh, these two games with uh, up north with Hancock and Calumet? It's nice. Um, it's a good feeling. Uh, you know, obviously starting off strong is what we wanted um, and what we were looking to do. So, um, I think it's given a good boost to most of the guys and, you know, keeping morale up, um, keeping everybody's head up, just excited, I guess. It, that's kind of what we're all – we're all ready for the season to continue. Um, so I think that break, as much as it was nice, it was – we were ready to get back into it. Yeah, you guys haven't also played a game in a few weeks. Um, you know, what's it going to be like back into, you know, game mode after, you know, having so much time off? Um, like I said, uh, you know, we just want to come out hard. Um, even though we haven't played in a little while, um, I think we will still be able to keep that intensity up. Uh, you know, that's what we want to keep through this entire year, um, and just continue to do. Um, so I think we'll, we'll be okay. We will definitely be okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of experiences coming back for Howell this year. Um, you know, a lot of new faces to the, to the team, of course. Uh, you know, what's it like just having all the familiarity with everybody coming back? Um, I think it's, it, it's good for us. Um, obviously not a whole lot of new guys, um, pretty much the same team as last year. Um, a few changes here and there, and it's, uh, it's a good feeling knowing that you can trust some of those guys that, you know, you were able to trust last year and just continue to build that bond with them. Um, so we're really hoping to uh, take advantage of it. You know, what's it, you know, also one of the big changes this year and uh, you know, a lot of, I know this probably hasn't gotten as much attention as it probably should, but uh, you know, of course, Keith Robertson coming into with Howell. Um, what, what has that been like to having, having coach around there? Um, it's a good feeling. Uh, him and Rocky work really well together. Um, as long as, or, or as well as working with us, um, there's a different message this year. Uh, obviously we like to change up here and there, but this year has been different compared to the last few where I've been around. Um, and having Keith as that positive reinforcement, um, as uh, along with Rocky has been nice. It's been really good for the boys and, I think that having him uh, join us this year is making a big difference. How do you like mentally get ready for a game? Um, you know, I, I try to stay focused. Um, don't let a whole lot of things distract me. Um, so pregame, I'm I'm focused. I, I really am. Um, keep my headphones in. I dial in. Um, Kind of stay quiet. I don't like to get too loud. Just trying to, you know, focus on what I got to do. 
What's uh what's on Connor's playlist? Oh, my playlist. I switch it up. Uh, I'm not very consistent with it. There's a whole lot of everything. Um, all kinds of stuff, honestly. <laughs> it's everything. Um, just anything at all. And then that kind of simulates my brain in a way where I'm focusing. That's that's my biggest thing. There's nothing specific. Yeah. Uh, what's it going to be like going all the way up to the UP? I know it's uh, it's going to be a long drive, but you guys, what you guys got planned for the bus ride up? Oh, probably a lot of napping. I'll be honest, a lot of sleepy boys on the way up. So it'll be, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be fun. Um, yeah. We uh, we took the bus ride to Traverse City last year, and uh, that was a good time. So I'm sure a little bit longer this time, but. We'll make the most of it. I'm sure we will. I know we will. Okay, well, you might have to sing karaoke like the Brighton guys did. Last year. <laughs> if it keeps the boys ready and, you know, awake, then you got to do what you got to do. I felt one out there, bud. Um, <laughs> well, let's get let's get to know you, Connor, a little bit. How about that? All righty. Okay, so uh, best uh, best moment of your hockey career that could be playing at Howell or something else. Um. I got to think back that, man, uh, it was always a dream of mine to play high school um, just because I always looked up to the high school guys um, when I was young. So I think making the high school team um, was huge, honestly. Uh, one of the best experiences of my life has been these last four years. Um, and I, I wouldn't train it for anything. That's like that's been my highlight. Yeah. OK, favorite uh, player growing up? Favorite player, Darren McCarty. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I've met Darren McCarty a few times. Um, you know, always always good to see him. I know um uh saw him when I was at uh when I was at MIS covered NASCAR races a couple times and all that. So uh pretty interesting dude, always uh <laughs> see him around town. So yeah. Uh, okay, favorite um uh, favorite food. Favorite food, Ooh. um Burgers. Can't miss on a burger. Where is the best burger to get around here? Oh. Mm. I got to say Cleary. Cleary's Pub. They got a pretty solid burger. Yeah, Downtown Howell's always got some pretty, pretty solid stuff. Absolutely. Um, favorite movie? Favorite movie. Oh. Uh, all the Fast and Furious movies favorite series hands down yeah um let's see hmm um favorite um you know i know uh, tv or streaming show that you're into right now or were into in the past oh watch a lot of shores you know that was uh oh obviously only a season just finished up this last season with Pretty entertaining, probably my favorite so far. Absolutely. Uh, go to place for food. Panda. Panda Express. New Panda and uh, in Howell. Oh yeah, makes that drive so much better. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't I don't live too far away from that thing, so. No, it's nice yeah. having it around. Yeah. Um, and finally, what is an interesting fact people do not know about you? Um, you know, probably I, I started skating when I was two. Um, so I mean, awesome. not, a lot of whole, not a whole lot of people ask, so. Yeah. All right. Well, Connor, thank you so much for the time as always. We'll talk to you of course, soon. Of course, man. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon.